Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing my ultimate artist gift guide with you and showing you lots of different ideas on what you could gift for art supplies and also craft supplies. If you are new to my channel my name is Gemma, I create weekly art content so make sure you subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. I have got lots of wintry videos and also lots of festive videos coming up so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those ones. Okay, so let's get straight into this artist gift guide. My first idea for a gift set would be to put together a painting set for somebody. So getting a set of paints and also some mini canvases along with a jar and also some paint brushes. So I'm going to show you how to put all of those items together right now so that you can get some ideas on how to put together that gift set. To package this up, you can simply place everything into the jar and then pop the paintbrushes in there also. Once you're then ready, you can decorate your jar with a nice ribbon or some lace to make it look really nice and Christmassy. Then you're ready to package up your little canvases beside it. And I think that would make a really nice little gift for somebody that's wanting to get into painting or somebody that would just like to paint on a smaller scale. So that is the very first gift idea. The next gift idea is pretty much exactly the same but make sure you have got watercolour paints for this one. You're then going to get some watercolour paper or watercolour pads but I do include some washi tape for this set because I want to make sure that whoever I'm gifting this watercolour set to can also stretch their paper so it doesn't buckle. So to package the paper I'm going to use a natural brown paper, folding it lengthways first of all and then bringing in the edges and just tack that with a little bit of masking tape until I can then add my ribbon. To add my ribbon I measure out the two lengths and then two widths of my paper and then I add a little bit of extra to ensure that I can also create a little bow on that and then I wrap that around the gift making sure to tie it. And then there we have it, that is an inexpensive gift for a friend that enjoys watercolour painting. The next gift idea is for anybody that you know that enjoys using pens to draw with. So I have included a set of pens here and they all differ in sizes for nibs. So we have got some fine pointed nibs along with some chiselled nibs within this set. So this is a set of 12 and then I have also included a nice sketchbook. So this is a fairly small sketchbook. So I think that this is such a cute gift for somebody and I would be so pleased if I received a nice sketchbook and a really nice set of pens like this. If you have a little bit more money in your budget you could also include a set of watercolours to work alongside the pens. Next up is for anybody that is interested in colouring pencils. So I have included a set of colouring pencils in my gift guide. Now the colouring pencils that I have got here are the Faber-Castell pencils which are a really good pencil, however they might be out of your budget for whoever you're buying for. So I will include some cheaper alternatives in the description box below, but these ones I would recommend, they are a really nice pencil. I can say personally I have used these quite a lot and I would highly recommend them. I have got colouring pencils on my own wish list and I would love to try the Prismacolor colouring pencils and also I would like to try the Caran d'Ache luminescence colouring pencils as well because I think the formula of those looks really really good. Colouring pencil set again with that little sketchbook because I think it's a really nice little size, it's nice and portable so you could purchase a nice little sketchbook for the person that you know that likes colouring pencils so that they can work on colouring pencils in their new book, maybe start a new sketchbook in the new year and then along with the colouring pencils in the sketchbook you could also purchase a blending solution for them. To go alongside the blending solution you could then also include a little paintbrush. You could also include some blending stumps within this set also. Alternatively, if the person you're buying for isn't much of a sketcher, however they do enjoy colouring pencils, then you could also look into buying them a nice colouring book. So I have got this one here, my best friend sent me this one during the first lockdown. It's a wellbeing journal and there's lots of really nice activities in here just for mindfulness. It's in aid of Mind Charity, so I will pop this one in the description box below as well. 
Next up is pens. Now again, I have completed the sketchbook, but this time instead of coloring pencils or the drawing kit, I have included some pens. You could pair the pens and a really nice coloring book together. That would be a lovely gift for somebody. You could also include it with the sketchbook. Alternatively, you could include an alcohol marker. So I have got these alcohol markers that I tested out a few weeks ago. So if you want to see that video, I will include that in my description box. You could include some alcohol markers instead of those felt tip pens. But just bear in mind, it might bleed through the paper. So you'll need to make sure you purchase a bleed proof paper so it doesn't go through the sketchbook pad. And I will show you how to package those two things up now. Within this video, I'm also going to show you some crafting ideas because I know not everybody is into art. The first gift set that I have got for you is wool. I have placed some crochet hooks with it or you could swap out those for some knitting needles instead. And then I have packaged it all up with a piece of canvas that has got sort of a glittery accent to it because I think that it just looks really nice and also it looks very festive. So I thought this would be a great way to package those up to make them look a little bit more of an interesting gift. Next idea is a sewing kit. I've just included a pattern that I had at home and then I have also bundled up some really nice fabrics to go along with that pattern. I've also added some embroidery thread and also a tape measure and then I have bundled all of that together with some binding fabric because I just thought that this fabric looked really really nice. If you have more money in your budget, you could create the ultimate gift for your friend or relative that is into art supplies. I have put everything together in one basket to create a nice hamper full of art goodies. Now, if I was to receive that gift, I would be so, so happy because there's so many different things that you could get stuck into and create with. So there you have it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed my artist gift guide. Let me know in the comments what would be on your art supply wish list make sure you subscribe because I have got lots and lots of festive videos coming up and also hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my uploads make sure you like this video if you have enjoyed it and I will see you next week bye guys